Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the channel for another video on the hot topic, St. James's Park, the renaming of it, if it's going to happen, which by the looks of things, I think it's 100% going to happen, but how is it going to happen? Uh, but before we come on to the topic, uh, very quickly, if we reach 200 members, we're going to give away a shirt every month, a replica shirt, a real one. We'll buy it from the club shop and send it to you if we reach 200 members. It's 99p a month. There's nearly 6,000 of you. You know, 99p is nothing, guys. If you can afford it, please help support the channel that way, and we will put the money back into yourselves and also into the charities, uh, which we'll have some news about. A big raffle coming along very soon with Kevin Keegan signed shirts, Alan Shearer's testimonial signed shirt, badges, all to raise money for the channel and for charity. So really looking forward to that. And while we're on the badges, we've still got a few of these to sell. Uh, we've got them in stock, so all you've got to do is pay for it. As soon as it's paid for, it is sent out to you. It's as simple as that. Uh, so please contact me via Twitter uh, or via the email address below in the description, and we can send you one of these unbelievable badges, uh, crests, metal, powdered, coated, indoors, outdoor use. Absolutely fantastic Christmas present. Uh but yeah, so let's let's talk about St James's Park. Obviously, there was bad taste in all Newcastle United fans when Mike Ashley tried to do this uh, all the way back in November two thousand and eleven. Uh, Newcastle renamed St James's Park Sports Direct Arena. You know, a horrible sight. All the signs. You know, it's been the home of Newcastle since 1892. We're talking 120-year rich history at this stadium. It's the only stadium we've ever known. It's right bang in the middle of the city. It's on a hill. It looks fabulous. And he decides to call it the Sports Direct Arena. So Newcastle United Arena is James's part Sports Direct Arena after owner Mike Ashley's company. The club said the change is temporary measure to showcase the sponsorship opportunity to interested parties. However, the St. James's Park title has been dropped as the club does not think it's commercially attractive. Commercially attractive. Whatever aligned Mike Ashley's pockets back then was what was attractive to him. And he didn't pay for this at all. No money went into, into the club. It went straight. You know, it was completely free. The idea of it, he was changing the name of the stadium to show potential sponsors, what it would look like and what it would mean. And it, it, it didn't go down well at all, to be fair. There was backlash on Gillette Soccer Saturday with uh, Jeff Stalin saying you would never call it that. You would always call it St. James's Park, and like the fans did as well. Uh, <clears throat> then Wonga restores Newcastle United Stadium's old name in October the 9th, 2012. Controversial payday loans company Wonga has moved to to the negative fan reaction to its multi-million shirt sponsorship deal with Newcastle United by paying to return the club's 120-year stadium to Sir James's Park name. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little bit unwell still. If you believe what's written there, I mean, I'd, I'd, some people have come out and said that it was all down to Mike Ashley, the renaming of the stadium again. But according to this, it was all down to Wonga. And they renamed the stadium St. James's Park after paying for the sponsorship due to the shirt sponsor didn't go down very well. So that was the very first time St. James's Park was ever renamed. Uh, and it didn't go down well with the fans because the money went straight into Mike Ashley, as far as we're aware, wasn't reinvested and it wasn't used for what it could be used. Now we fast forward <coughs> to this day and age. Sorry, really, I'm not well. Uh, new owners. New ideas, really wanting to push this club forward. <coughs> <coughs> ah, man. Flu, COVID, whichever one it is, it's kicking my ass. But I really wanted to get this done. Uh, it's a hot topic at the moment, and I started a big topic on Facebook because of it, which we're going to go to on Twitter as well. Uh, we now know these owners are doing everything for the best of the football club. Uh, and this is what uh, Eel said on, on it. For us, it's about talking with our supporters and being open by saying, look, we all want to get to this place and get to this place. We need to bring in commercial revenues. There's always going to be a little bit of trade-off in certain areas. I'm just being hypothetical here. We would talk about having a dialogue around the stadium and it might be that it's not a naming right, but it's an association naming rights. That might be something that everybody is comfortable with. 
but there has to be dialogue and there has to be an explanation. Love that. Never got that from Mike Ashley, did we? At all. So that to me says, you know, and for me, it's a must. For me to make a decision on whether I want St. James's Park to be renamed or an association name, is I want to know why they're doing it, what's it bringing to the table, and is, is it going to improve us as a football club? Because we're talking 120 years of history, remember. Uh, and I, for one, from what I've been listening to everyone on Twitter, which we'll come to very soon, it does sound like it's all very positive. But I want to know how much it's going to bring in. Is it worth the value of renaming the stadium if the, the right money is not there? 10 million is not enough for me. You know, you want at least, I don't know, 20, 30 million, something like that. And the reason why I say that is we want it to bring in a marquee signing on the back of it. So if we rename the stadium to whatever it might be and sign Madison in January on the back of it, do it. It's a no-brainer. But we want to know the outlinings of why it's happening. And obviously the expansion to 63K would be huge on top of that as well. Uh, another quote from Eels, we want Newcastle United to be competing for trophies <coughs> and to be in the top six consistently and be up there in Europe. If we can find a path that gets us there quickest way possible, then we're going to bring everyone in on the journey. Again, love that again. Thinking about the fans, bringing everyone in. You know, if it, you know, if our journey is 10 years to be challenging for the league every year, but this renaming brings in enough revenue to then fast forward that two years, then all Newcastle fans will probably be on board with it. There will be some that won't be, but I think majority would be. But again, it's all about your opinions. I mean, these guys want to know exactly what we're thinking and why we're actually thinking it. Uh, and I've been very lucky enough when I was at the match against Brentford, uh, I bumped into loads of uh, Danish guys who were fantastic. They were a supporters group. They're amazing. And I've got their, their chairman of the supporters group to do a little short video on what he thinks about the, the, the new name and rights. So I'll, I'll bring him in on this video. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Hi lads, my name is Les Nielsen, I'm the chairman of Tunes of Denmark, which is Denmark's official uh, support club of Newcastle United. Of course, I also have my opinion about the possible renaming of St. James's Park. Firstly, it's a very difficult question to answer because deep down I think a very few people want to change the name. but as time goes by, that's the way it goes, and if we want to be competitive in the long run, both sportly, but also in relation to the financial fair place, then it requires a lot of fixed income. Um, and here the stadium name is clearly a major source of that income. Um, so I'm a bit mixed in my views. Um, because I would prefer to keep the name St. James's Park, but I can understand the management that they see a financial advantage uh, in choosing to rename the stadium. So I don't know if you've been wised up about my opinion, but I support the club uh, and I think the new owners um, guide us in the right direction and I feel comfortable about the way they're leading us now. So I don't know if that's any help uh, in any way, but let's support the club and uh, I think we are going in the right direction. So um, how will that? So there we have it. A, a fan from abroad who was a big fan of Newcastle has been for a while. Uh, having their say on, on the name and rights. And it's great to be able to listen to you guys and to be able to, to take on board some some information on what's going on. It's not just uh, videos, not just Facebook, but Twitter. Uh, I put out a question saying, what did everyone think of it? It's very different to last time. And these are all the responses I got. And I would say 90% of people were all in favour of it, as long as St. James's Park was also still in the name. So it's the St. James's Park... Amrico Stadium, potentially, or something along those lines, you know. Uh, 
People saying we need to move with the times. Moving with the times to me, though, is a new stadium, to be honest with you guys. And I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but 90,000, 100,000, that's moving with the times. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys think about that, but there you go. Uh, you know, again, consulting with fans depends on how they do it. You know, at least they're consulting with fans again. Uh we need to understand it more before we can make a decision. We have a lot of commercial revenue, good to catch up, and they're in favour. Uh, again, a lot of people are saying the first time around was shocking because it was Ashley and it was all for him. Uh, this time around, it feels different because it's for the owners. You know, there's some absolute fantastic quotes in here. The difference then, Baz, was he had no money coming in from changing the name. I may be in the minority, but as long as we're making decent money from to improve the squad and hopefully St. James is, is still there somehow, I'm okay with it. So I would say 98% 90, of people were in favour with the change of the name and I think about 20% of people would be unhappy if St. James's part is not in the name anymore. I'm in that 20%, uh, but I think a lot of people see the value in, in the name change and especially if it helps us to move further forward. A few other things, renaming may bring in more coin, but it's in James's part, man. Three things shouldn't be changed. The team's name, home colours, and the ground name. So James's part is where NUFC have always played. They want to change it, so it'll probably be changed. But to the fans, it'll always be St. James's Park. So it always will be St. James's Park, I guess. It's what we've always known, isn't it? But again, there's a fan that's not quite on, on side with it. So, you, you know, you've got, you've got to see all the opinions that are happening. Uh Good one on Facebook. Well, unfortunately, right now we have to find create avenues that will allow us the future to be able to compete with all EPL teams that have done everything possible to not see us having power to spend big and compete with them from a financial perspective. If change and rename in the stadium and a new shirt sponsor gives us that edge, I am all for it. It will always be St. James's Park. Many forget that despite winning on the pitch, we shall also win with every decision made in the boardroom. We've had 14 years of poor or no decision making. And right now it feels strange to many that we actually have a well-capable group making decisions and moving the club forward in every aspect. I say keep going. Soon we will be side by side with City and no one can stop us. And round of applause for that comment from uh, Claudio on my Facebook group, Through Black and White Eyes. It's private. If you'd like to join it, please join it. Uh, but who could the sponsor be? So there's a few a few names I'm going to throw in the hat. Obviously, it's the same ones from the summer that we thought we were going to be getting. Amrico uh, it's definitely got to be one of them. Saudi Airlines, possibly that. And maybe Live Golf. That could be the new name of St. James's Park. So uh, Live Golf at St. James's Park. It might work. You never know. But they're the three I would throw into the hat that would potentially sponsor us to, to change the name. But I think it will be a joint name. I don't think St. James's Park will, will ever disappear from the name. But we wait and see. And we, we really appreciate everything the owners are doing. I need to put this out there. I'm not against it. I'm not for it fully yet. Uh, but I wanted to hear your opinions. My opinion is build a massive new stadium. 90,000, 100,000 in the future. Not right now, but in the future. I would love that. In the meantime... Keep it in James's Park. But if it's going to help with revenue right now to get us where we need to be, please have St. James's Park in the name somewhere. Uh, 120 years of history. You can't just wipe it out because of 20 million or 30 million or something like that. It's it's hurts a little bit when you think about it. But I see the points of view from everyone. I really do. I see the benefits in it. So if we can keep it, you know, with St. James's Park in the name, I'll be I'll be on board. I'll change my mind when Madison signs and gets us into Europe. Uh, why not? Eh? Why not? Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the opinions of everyone who got involved on Twitter and also on the Facebook group. Some great opinions in there for and against and some neutral still not sure. I hope this has helped you make your, your minds up. Uh, I, for one, love what I hear from, from Eels. I love what I hear from Dan Ashworth. I love what I hear from the football club. It's It's a different... It's a different world now that we live in. Uh, Mike Ashley years have completely gone. This feels different. This money goes towards the squad. This does feel like it's a good idea. So, yeah, I'm starting to turn around already, even though I'm only just saying I wasn't. But, I, you know, when, when you think about it and you say it out loud, you know, there we go. Uh, remember, guys, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and then you enjoy watching us. Helps us grow. 
please consider hitting the thumbs up button. Massive that one. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please consider becoming a member. Please consider donating, for, donating through the super thanks. Uh, but the membership's the big one because we do members' prizes and we uh, we send the prizes abroad as well. So if you are abroad, you you know, you, you, if you're a member, you are having a chance of winning something. Uh, I will be announcing a massive raffle soon with Alan Shearer's testimonial shirt, two Kevin Keegan signed old shirts and uh, five Newcastle Crest badges uh, to be won. Looking to raise 5,000, uh, which 50% of it will be going to three amazing charities, the Alan Shearer Foundation, the NUFC Food Bank and the Rob Burroughs Charity. Uh, so please consider buying tickets when they go on sale and I will announce that as soon as possible. I'm just trying to get everything set up uh, to make sure it's done fairly and everything can be collected safely. Uh, but please hit the thumbs up, guys. Please drop a comment below. And we will see you on Friday night for the look ahead to the My United game on Sunday and then the watch along on Sunday. So take care till then, everyone. Peace.